Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and other news in details. Invitation to Buhari, Senate disowns reps. The Senate on Wednesday distanced itself from the invitation extended by the House of Representatives to President Muhammad Buhari to address it on the rising spate of insecurity in the country. This is even as the Deputy President of the Senate, Ovi Omagege, said it is unconstitutional and aberrations for Henry Hams of the National Assembly to summon President Muhammad Buhari to be appear before it. The Hopper Chamber, through the Chairman of its Committee on Media Publicity Affairs, Senator Ajibala Bashiru Oshun Central, told reporters in Abuja that the Senate has nothing to do with the invitations of the President by the House. He said that since the Senate did not summon the President, it would not want to be dragged into any controversy as to whether the President will appear before a joint section of the National Assembly or not. Bashiru said, I am a spokesperson of the Nigerian Senate. There was no resolutions of the Nigerian Senate that the President should come and address it on the issue of national security. I expect that every inquiry as to the summoning and coming of the president should be directed to the House of Representatives. We operate a bicameral legislature, and that is why our rules and procedures are different, and that is why also we need a concurrence from the two houses on the passing of legislation. On this matter, there has not been an issue of a joint resolution. What you have is the resolutions of the House of Representatives. And I believe the House of Representatives should be able to tell you why the resolution was passed and what will happen to that resolution. And as far as the Senate is concerned, we have not summoned the President and we don't want to get ourselves in involved in any controversy as to whether the President will appear or not. To the best of my knowledge, I am not aware of any planned joint sections of the National Assembly tomorrow. On the statement of the Hattony General of Federations and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami, that the National Assembly lacks power to summon the President Bashiru said, I am a legal practitioner. I have not read what Malami has said. When I read it, if it affects the Nigerians, Senate, how we make a response, it can be responding to hearsay. And secondly, there has not been any communication as to the National Assembly expecting the President as far as the Senate is concerned. Our resolution still remains that the President should hear the voice of the Nigerian Senate, that the service chiefs should be examined and dropped so that we can have re-energized security architecture in the country. On this part, Omar Gege insisted that the farmers that the framers of the nation's constitution did not envisage a situation where one arm of government would summon the head of another arm of government to appear before it. The deputy Senate president, who is also the chairman of the Senate committee on the review of the 1999 constitution, made these assertions while asking questions from reporters after a meeting of the committee at the National Assembly Abuja. He said that he cannot support that the president should honor such an invitation. Omar Gege said, Hi, man, I am a constitutionalist. I believe that we are operating a presidential system of government. I believe in the concept of the separations of power. We have three quarters, three equal arms of government. The framers of our constitution did not envisage that one arm of government will be summoning the head another co-equal arms of the government to come and offer an explanation on the floor. I think those of you who are, who are familiar with the constitutional process, I don't think you have ever heard that the U.S. Parliament had ever invited their president to appear before the House of Representatives or the U.S. Senate, unless for the purpose of budget or to give an address on the state of the nation. In any event, we also have the concept of executive privilege the executive arms of government has the power to claim executive privilege at any time any such of such invitations is extended. It is not envisaged by the framers of the constitution that a day will come where the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who had the executive arm, would be asked to come and testify in the House of Representatives or the Senate 
I do not also support that. And I don't believe that the president should come. I could be recalled. It could be recalled that the House of Representatives recently passed a resolution inviting President Muhammad Buhari to appear and brief it on the rising spate of insecurity in the country. Why the presidency earlier confirmed that the president would brief a joint section of the National Assembly on Thursday, fillers from the villa, later showed that the president would not honor the House's invitation. Well, so viewers, you've heard it all. What is your own take about what is recently going on? That, in fact, most especially what Malami said about President, President Muhammad Bari should not summon to the call of the National Assembly. What is your own take about it? You know, we all know what is going on in this Nigerian system. So many things is going on that is not okay at all. You know, you can imagine that upon all the atrocities by our leaders, upon all the wicked hearts, Malami can still come up and still in, in President Muhammad Buhari's support. You can imagine this, you know, and many people were saying that um, I can bet it that some members of the House of Representatives who are President Buhari's apologists will soon commence impeachment proceedings against Femi Gwajabi Amila for failing to stop the aborted invitations of the president in the false instance. You know, they said the rubber stamp senators are not ready to settle the insecurity issues, the security issues in the country. Go continue fighting with one another, a system without truth will eventually crash. Exactly, that is the end of the whole thing. At the end of the day, a controversy will be among them at the end of the day you know fighting will be among them because a system whereby there is no peace in such system it will end up collapsing at the end of the day i am telling you the truth with the look of things it shows that confusion is already amidst them i'm telling you you know people were even saying that omagege what is unconstitutional to inquire to know from the executive how things happen, to interrogate the executive on the prevailing situations, and seeking to know solutions or way forward. Is that the unconstitutionality that you mean? Omagege should have been more honorable by saying that he lacks the competence to speak on the issue than for him to say what he does not know what, what he does not know much about. Because he should have consulted his legal advisor before he spoke. Again, and even the invitation to the president can be from any of the two houses of National Assembly. If the National Assembly cannot summon the president for, for a questioning, then who will now do it? Then who will now do it? That is what many, this, many of these people does not know. That is what many of these Nigerian leaders does not know. You can imagine they are comparing themselves with American presidents. My question is that uh, American presidents, do they treat their people the way Nigerian leaders are treating their people? There is no comparison between them. I'm telling you, how can you compare water with fire? There is no comparison at all. How can you compare darkness with light? No way. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your home take? Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for always being there for us. Stay safe at this crucial time. Bye.